Shirtless warriors crawl through Arval's nest like lice. If I use the main gate, I may attract attention. Stretch your wings, Sunan. crew should be inside. must be barred.
Need to get on the other side. Squirm like that, and my axe will miss your neck. Unpleasant for both Time of us. Time to die. I want to make a mess of it, Bakraut. You coward! Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine! You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist! But if you wish to be my first sacrifice... Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. Blood! I will sell you to hell herself! <sighs> Kneel, Wolfkist, and I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight! No running! Die, you sack of shit! <sighs> Thank you. 
father. You should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! Eivor, are you bewitched? Unbind us! What? Oh. Yes, of course. Ah! Ah, thank well, you, well, my friend! Well kissed. Even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. We take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice.
patience. Look for the open. You pay the blood price. leads us home. Gods, it's about time. Stop yapping and start rowing. Let the sail Peter! out! Rather silent, Eivor. Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, boneheaded, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better.
here, vigilant. Where is honor to be found? I feel I am going round and round. I am lost and honor bound. This quest... You arrived without a sound. Are you a skald? I have never heard poetry shouted in this way. A skald? Oh no, not at all. I am truly looking for honor and have become lost as a result. You're looking for honor here. It's a bit remote. I am the seventh son of a seventh son. I am expected to bring great honor to my family. But everything has been done. My uncles and brothers have all had great victories or even greater deaths. There's nothing left for me to do. The gods have been deaf to my pleas, but you are here. So you want a great victory from me? Or a great death? No! I want to live! And I could not possibly hope to win against you. That is true. But maybe you could lead me to a victory. I can tell by looking at you. You're not a great warrior. You know it too. There is no reason to deny this. I could bring you a chance at honor. An animal of some kind. Something you could handle. Yes, yes. That could work. I could add a few details. Nothing too exaggerated. Skulls do it all the time. So now you're a skull. Do not go anywhere. I will only do this once. I will be here. On my honor. Not okay. Nia! Yeah. <laughs> 
Finn um dir gripat. Setting up an outpost on that island. Cut his men, gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I am right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. We attacked Jotve's fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? There's a skull who dares sing that verse. It'll be his last song. for the dark. Well, well. The Feather of Ravens returns. And not... We thought we had lost you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Ranvi. You nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's... 
wrath, Eivor. Did your raid you not go as planned? By now. They rarely go as planned. We killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. Oh. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. Good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since. Since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Volka. She could help me make sense of my... my feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Eivor! Looking rough you are. Welcome home! I return. Caught anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow? That could work. I return with a boat and a full crew. That is worth more than silver. That doesn't count. You need silver. And jewels. <laughs> Come! A little dice never caused any harm. I do miss the rattling of Luckbone. Yes. Let's begin. Straight into the point. May the, the best hand win. Come through, I come here now. 
Defeat is eminent. Fort. Ah, you just got lucky. Another round. 
I've had enough of this. It is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in me from of riding which I poetry, fear friend. mockery! It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. With your teachings, I'm sure my next challenger I will slay. Mm, no. The rhyme is good, but too many words upsets the rhythm. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I will make a fine goblet from out of your skull. Not bad, not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but... Consider that I said you were silly, and you told me you would kill me. At times, it might be best to... remain on theme. Something to consider. Last one. So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. There's still much for you to learn about flighting, but I'm confident you'll pick it up. Happy to help you learn if you'd like to come back again. Perhaps I will. Thank you, Alvis. Come to keep your blade sharp? <laughs> Wolf kissed. Welcome. Garner. I have something here you might like to see. Axe. I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have will it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air.
That should do it. Anything else? anything else now are you gonna holding up yeah work is good and my spirits are strong but my nights are newly cold my lady left me if you have not heard I had sorry to hear it we were together how long uh, five weeks it was five beautiful passionate weeks but all that is done We'll never find my Brunilda. Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. That is all for now. Return any time. Hey, can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could, but I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I'll see you soon. They must be finished now. 
If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volka first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Tovi, trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I'll be happy to. See how I'm standing? Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Look at the point you want to hit, and now imagine the arrow passing straight through it and far beyond. Breathe out, then release. You've come back. Did... Can I interest you in a game of horror? 